I'm just going to stand next to your fire. Oh, that would have fire. <laughs> Whoa, snake! Snake! Snarky! Hold still. An egg. Nice egg. I'm gonna eat it. Wait, I'm gonna eat it next to you. Oh, okay. Because in case eggs are... <laughs> uh, I guess that that works like it would actually work. <laughs> oh no. Or would it work like Kirby, where I like eat it and then I like spit some of it in your mouth like yeah. a like yeah, a bird? Make that session to like <laughs> distribute the eggs. <laughs> I hate uh, this room. Oh yeah. So this room, as you're turning it, the oh, lasers God. can hit either me or you. So yeah. just keep that in mind. And I should do that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, God. All right. It's so, like, well, here we are. Right here. There's a snake. With an egg in its gullet. Where's the snake? Oh, there's the snake. But I will join you shortly. I got a snake to shoot. Oh, frick yeah. Okay. And an egg to consume. That, that animation, though. He cracks it against his leg. It's just... Oh, God. Delicious. Oh, I see why you got got. Yeah. It briefly bounced off of this one as I was zooming it past. Yep, yep. It's ridiculous. Okay. Also, I so, turned it to point the wrong way. If you just want to hide on the opposite side of that pillar from me... You got it. Ready? Probably. Here we go. And that bounces to that. Uh, over there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. If. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, hold on a second. I'll, I'll I'll be right back. Okay. PSA for anyone: uh, if you have the if you use the oven, turn it off. Oh yeah. Uh, if you want to hide, uh, Same maybe spot? behind that far mirror instead of the. If you far see where mirror. I am, that's a mirror oh. that's behind you. Oh. You can get around and hide behind that. Okay. You gotta come out like around the hole. Yeah, yeah. Because I think if you stand behind the pillar when I move this one, it's gonna like glance off one of the other mirrors as it moves and then. Sure. Get you. Okay. I'm glad Nathan's in a puzzle solving mood because I'm not. Down? I guess this is an elevator? Alright. <laughs> down the pillar okay but before we do that we want to make sure we know where it goes so this one will yeah 
So what we're trying to do is get it to this one, right? Yeah. Which means we gotta get it to this one. I'm just gonna kick this pillar down already. Yeah. Um, I think this mirror is pretty much where it needs to be. And then, yeah, that one should redirect it into the thing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's set up, I think. Yeah. Alright. And, uh... Will I die if I do this? Hold on. Don't, uh, don't do it from that side. Do it from this side. Where? Oh, wait. Can you do it from this side? Oh, yes. Cool. Ugh. <sighs> Video games. Video games. Video games. That's why I wish Taha was here, covered in lycra again, on the yeah. in my bathtub, writhing around, screaming video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If only. If hey. only there wasn't a global pandemic killing millions. Okay, that chest was empty, but it did release <laughs> a swarm of spiders. Well, thank God it, it did that. Spiders. Alright. I think it's time for some flash rounds. There. <laughs> wow. Ah. No. Where are you? Where are you? There. Yeah. Sorry, I was having some turning troubles. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, you're still alive? Fuck you. Okay. That was a lot of spiders. Um. Kind of. Oh, that's. I have an excess of something. You. Okay. If you. Hide behind the pillar that it's shooting out of. Uh, over. Over. Over there. Uh, or I guess you could okay. just be right here, actually. If you're in the corner right next to me. That it works. Ah, get me out of here! There we are. <laughs> that was a little too close. Okay. And then, oh my god. Okay. So, this, like this. No, no! Okay, fine. More spiders. Uh, come in, come in. I found a, a crypt room, so I was like, oh, treasure. Yeah, 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 like that. Gotta loot it. Reload! <sighs> Some kind of trap? No, looks like an execution chamber. Sure. That's some contextual storytelling right here. <laughs> yeah. <It> sure is. <laughs> Using the laser. shoot it straight into the fucking mouth treasure of that skelly man. Okay. Okay. Oh, you wanna just get duck and cover in the corner here? Yeah, I do. More than anything else. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeet. Yeets a spaghetti, as they say. Okay. Spiders? No? Spiders? No, Spiders? only riches beyond our wildest. And... 
some kind of altar. Fire's done a real number here, especially on this corpse. Mm. Sometimes it be like that. It really do. So what? What oh, changed? Wow. What? What's treasure in here? Uh, Ooh. so, the door, this door open, over there that opened, it, I think that door opened, and this door here opened as well. Mm, okay. This one is full of riches. The lamp is mine. Asshole. What hit me? Snake. Snakes. Hey, Norm, you got your wish. I got hit by snakes. I'm gonna stuff some gold into my pocket. You know how it is? I'm gonna eat some eggs. Oh, I'm like fucking Rocky over here. Rocky past the Dove. Or whatever. Yeah. Rocky Pavlovia. Yeah. I think that's what I said. Yeah, something like that. Wasn't his name Rocky Fuck? Uh, that sounds right, yeah. Because he was a porn star at one point. Okay. Laser! Uh, that one. Snake! Snocky! Like I want to just yeah. Hold on. Yeah, you you need Hi. to get to safety. Hi, hit it and kick it. it. <laughs> you wake up late for school, man. You don't want to go. Yeah, and you ask your mom, please. She's like, nah, fetch. Uh, okay. One problem. I can't get out of here. Oh, are you like... Are you stuck? I am. What the fuck? Okay. I have, I have, I have idea. Okay. I'm gonna move it back to... No, 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 no. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it? Okay. Leave it. Oh. Uh, this guy, wait. Which direction is it getting the light from? I... I'm not sure. Um, okay, so that's going in the, so it's oh yeah, getting over, light in there. Over there, so it would be this one. So if I if I turn which left. Would... Should, nope. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, I was getting it from that, so then it was and that one was gonna always so I wanted to go. <laughs> yes. That looks so funny. Yeah, it really does. Nice. Oh my god, is that riches? I believe that is fortune. Fortune for all. Oh. No, it's flowers. From far away, I thought the, the leaves were gold. Oh. I thought the flowers were jewels. <laughs> How can they survive underground? Uh, because they're no clearly getting flowers. fucking sunlight, my dude. <laughs> Yeah. Wait. I mean, they are. Sun's right on them. Do you think the animators were like, were like, all right, well, it would only make sense for the sun to be on these, so they like made the scene this way, and but then like the writers were like, how did this survive underground? Yeah. Yeah. Umbrella. Ah, the ancient cave paintings of the Umbrella Corporation. Yeah. I don't know. Of course. It doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. We can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together?
Do you think? I wonder if they were working together at all. That's the impression that I get. Like even, like even slightly, if they were working together. You can view the Nipaya tribe file in the library. Okay, so I did end up selling that thing. I wonder if this is what Urban meant by answers. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection with the umbrella, and that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Um. I just put it, but they had, there's like a, there's a tent here. Mm -hmm. Well, it had the Tricell logo. That's all I need to know. Yeah. I, I know enough. What is this document? Come on. Chief Reacher, researcher, uh, Brandon's, Chief Researcher Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. This is journal, number one. 1966. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us. But later, research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus hetero to unknown might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so perspicacious... His he was pretty to perspicacious, correct. to be fair. The virus discovered in that flower was labeled progenitor, and for three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the Ndipaya. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return to his home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cult cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA-altering characteristics. We cultivated the flower to mass-produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here's where the major problem surfaced. The flower did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they're grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but no luck in triggering the development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the, direct, uh, the direction this research was taking. During that debate, Dr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. <laughs> Don't start any sort of enterprise if you can't have a progenitor virus in it. Yeah. Like a lot of, I feel there are like a lot of companies that are like, well, like we'll just focus on growth first and we'll figure out where the progenitor virus back is in down the line. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, In and Out Burger is all about. Yeah. They're just like, well, we're trying to do burgers for a bit, but. And if I can get my hands on one of these progenitor viruses, you best believe. Ooh, document. Telegram from James Marcus. T-virus development a success. January 13, 1978. Um, the end. Alright. Okay. That, that went well. Another document here. From Chief Reacher, mm. Sir Brandon's Journal, number two. Wait, hold, hold on. I just turned on... Oh, 1998. November 16, we've closed down, closed down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard from the Arclay facility and the Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I did, th when I think about it, probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. Whoops. 
Um, I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all, as if it was all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus to all of Umbrella's laboratories. I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie. <laughs> you were like a zombie ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or the other. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it's too late to have any semblance of a life again. Okay. Chief researcher Brandon's journal. Because, you, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you're a chief researcher, how you you're, you're know your first name. Yeah. Exclusively. Yeah. Number two. 1968. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We Come can no on. longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. I know these routine attacks by the are really going to Come rack on. my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay, it was Miss Dispenser who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Indipia, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. I was, it was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Dr. Spencer's plan. Finally, some good news. We learned that they were able to chase the Ndipia off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, then there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at the site, which will expedite our research into the virus. We hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City so he could talk to Rachel, who is the same Rachel that's dating Billy to take over the training center. <laughs> we were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realized it was logical the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research, and if he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope that the African research facilities get built soon. So now I will go on to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents, and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the Ndipia at bay. But the thing that gets on my nerves the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the degenerate flowers so I can send them back to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, if I focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969, dude! <laughs> uh, nice! The research facilities are finally complete. This is the real Umbrella Re Africa Research Center, and not just some pile of tents. But I've come to realize in the past nine months, the facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger and more suitable for research. Then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line on our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. And a rare turn of events, that old skin flint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. That's it. All right. <sighs> we learned so much. And we laughed and loved. We did. Oh, here's another document. You want to take this one? Yeah. Yeah. Invoice copy. Umbrella Trading Facility, Dr. James Marcus. There are five cases of the progenitor sample. 1977, Africa Research Center, Brandon Bailey. Um, that's it. Cool. Just an empty case. Nothing here worth taking. Um. I'll be there for you. You'll be there for me too. I don't have any space, but I've already got a green herb. Okay. If I could combine Ooh, it. You. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Hold on. I. I don't need. Bomb. I do. I. It, it would be nice to have, but I'm always going to forget about it. Oh, yeah, basically. And then I'll give you my incendiary bomb. Okay. And then I'll take the herb, and then I'll combine the herb with the other herb. And now I've got two GG no re herbs. Jeez. The GG no re herb. I don't know how, but they 
could be using them to produce biological weapons. I mean, you remember those long ass documents we this just read about how they were using it to no doubt about it. <laughs> cultivate a virus? I mean, seeing as this company has definitely done this like every single time you've ever run into them, I, uh, yeah. I do. I don't. Yeah. I would say there's at least a 50% chance that they're using this to uh, create biological weapons. I like how one of the little blips when I looked at them, they're like, I don't think these flowers are for Mother's Day. I feel like <laughs> I Leon wrote of that. Flowers of evil before. Oh, I turned on the computer. Now I'm gonna watch a little thing. An email to an acquaintance. Here we go again! Here are all the fucking answers you've ever asked for. Hey, I know this is sudden, but I'm going to be getting some time off soon. We've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know I can't talk about work. So you're giving us some time off as a reward for all our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow and we'll finally be getting out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona and I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than, more than that, I think I'll be happy to get away from the high and mighty Miguel. Guy thinks he's some sort of super genius. Miguel's a guy that sits next to me at work and he's a good researcher and all, but don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and he's good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. He can't even begin to imagine the torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a sedative I could give him. But forget all that. What matters is I should be... What the fuck? We should be back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call, but we gotta get out and get smashed. I could really use the break. Talk to you soon, Ryan. <laughs> Okay. I wish I could give this man opiates, and I can't wait to get smashed later. Yeah, that'd be nice. Wow, look at this contextual storytelling over here. Oh, yeah. It's as if something terrible happened involving some kind of large bioengineered monster that got out of control. Yeah. Oh, half a lot of blood. Probably just ketchup. They Probably. spilled it on their way to the cafeteria. That's all. Nothing more. That's all it is. Oh wait. Oh. What what mechanic do you have to do to do that? I hit A and D. And B. To do this. Yeah. Okay. Because for me, I have to rotate the the stick. Oh. Investigate. Oh, more ketchup. It looks, looks like, like it was torn apart by animals. Not a good way to go. Wow, this contextual storytelling is making me scared. Of the boss we're about to fight. <laughs> I remember this boss, I think. I think this might have been... Might have been the boss I was thinking of earlier. Oh, dope. This is a baby giraffe. Why is why are these still alive? I don't know. Horrible experiments probably. Yeah. Pretty cool goat though. Yeah, this is a good goat. I mean it's not the goat goat, but it's a good goat. Yeah. Ah. Oh hey look, it's some kind of monster. Ah, jeez. It has a tongue. More than one. Come on. Hey. I'll be there for you. Reload. Woof. Bah. More green herb here. Oh, I actually could use some healing. If you want to come here real quick. Hell yeah. Hey. This wolf is not happy. Doggo. Oh my god. These that's, dire rats. That's pretty funny.
Some shogun shells. Oh, frick yeah. Those are one of my favorite kinds of cells. <laughs> so I think maybe ah, your yes. ear problem like might be a different one. Yep, yep. It looked pretty samey, but it uh, looks like that is the case. Giant uh, briefcase. Oh yeah, I want that. What is it? Um, oh damn! Hold, hold on, I'm getting this out of here. Yeah. You. I could discard it, but that wouldn't be shooting it. Hey, I found a safe full of gold bars. Nice. As you do. God, there weren't more of them. Yeah, yeah definitely not. Yeah, no more. Oh, okay. Thank you for the foreshadowing. We're going to fight a whole horde of those. Definitely. I definitely used the last of my, uh, that incendiary grenade. I see. Yeah, there's more in there. See him hanging out on the ceiling. Yeah. I don't think they notice us. Definitely. Those senses are weak. Yeah, man. For safe. sure. We should be as quiet as possible. He said out loud. Looks like that's actually working, is to not say words. Nope. Is to like walk and not run. Yeah. Alright, I'm flashing. Maybe. I might be flashing. Magnum here. Ow. All right. <laughs> they probably couldn't hear us, though. <laughs> I don't think they'll notice us. Guess their senses are weak. Just to be safe. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> what? No, oh, chase sequence, I guess. Yep. 
but also a looting sequence. How do we how do we start this chase sequence? Well, why don't we have her like roundhouse the door down? I oh God. I am big pharma now. Okay. I was really hoping it's not moving with I was also hoping something would have paid off, but here we are. Gonna get the gold. Oh. Alright. Hey, everybody. Thanks, partner. Whoops. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, went to, I went to reload because I thought it would proceed automatically, but I had to press the button. <laughs> you know how it takes two people to, like, hit an elevator button? Yeah. The that's way too much for one person to be trusted with. Grab a bit of handgun. This looks like a vending machine here. Like, yeah. I think you would Is put in the number. Yeah. I don't have space for anything. Oh, wow. I have a lot. of machine gun ammo now. Oh, yeah. And I assume it does a lot like it goes a lot further. Probably. Is that a shotgun shell? Yeah, it is. that part in the Resident Evil movie. Never seen it. This is in the pictures, too. <laughs> Wait. That means Jill might be here. Huh? Red alert. We've got two badasses over here. <laughs> call that one a success. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> Run a query on Jill. I'm trying to, but the encryptions are getting in the way. <laughs> trying to reroute. So I've got an IP address. Can Establishing uplink. World to I'm in. Oh, cool. <laughs> Not see like the big freaky. Oh, that's why. Yeah. That is why. That's pretty big. Yeah. Oh, oh thank God I got my <laughs> Yeah. I I also forgot that we were doing this. What? Fuck you. What are we doing? Right elbows. Oh yeah. We gotta hit the dead space bar. Hey there, big guy. Hey. Okay, what am I shooting? 
mouth. Two, three. All right, that's most of my magnum. Asshole. the uncoming button when you're when you're off balance. you inflict that upon me. Whoa! Easy there, cowboy. Where are you? That does a lot of damage or not. I hope it yeah, does. Hard to say. I don't know if it's a high damage thing or if that's just like a crowd control dealio. One magnum shot, by the way. It just opens up and another body just limply <laughs> falls out of it. <laughs> like they're all like looking at attention and it just flop. Yeah.
I mean, you don't know that, but... I mean, yeah. I can view Great. the U- At the exact same clear time. Wow. What are the odds? 